Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Fine. Great. <laughs> how was your weekend? Good. 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 All right. <laughs> Cansado. <laughs> Tired. Tired. All right. Well, did you work on the weekend? Did you work on the weekend? No. Did you rest? No. Activities with family. Uh -huh. Family activities. <laughs> That's good. That's nice because you didn't work. You didn't go to your job. Nice. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi. What about you? How was your weekend? No, I'm fine. Just fine. I, I, I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, uh, Thursday. All right. <clears throat> true. How do you say asueto? Holiday. Holiday. Yes. I hope it's holiday. On Thursday. Because uh, Friday, uh, I'm going to day off. You're going to have a day off on Friday too. So I, I'm going to present until next Monday. Monday. <laughs> next monday it's true monday. so practically this week you are working only monday tuesday and wednesday mm, interesting and then relax mm. a long weekend mm. yeah I think, I think so all right i hope so, <laughs> okay. I hope so. nice adriana Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you still at work? No. At home? At home. Ah, uh, because I see your, your camera looks different. I thought you were still at work. Uh, because I have in the cell phone. Oh, you are connected from the cell phone. True. And you usually connect on the computer, right? On the computer, yes. Uh -huh, that's right. All right, welcome. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, sure, because I work last Saturday. On Saturday, so you are resting on Friday too? Yes. Oh, nice, that's good. Ah, I see, some people were really smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayra, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are Hi, you? fine. What about you? Happy to see you again. Uh, <laughs> How was your weekend? What did you do? In the weekend? Uh huh. Okay. You relax, you stay home, you saw a movie. Sorry? Yes, no tengo plans. <laughs> All right. Okay, did you work? How about working? In my work, um, the afternoon, I I was um, meeting in a meeting. In the afternoon, in in was this? How do you say what? 
Se corta. There's no good signal. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a problem with the internet. I'm sorry. All right. All right. So welcome everybody. I see some other people got connected already. That's great. I see Isabel, Lucy, Jacqueline, Elsie, Erben, Hazel, Hector. Welcome. Okay. I hope you have rested over the weekend. I hope you have done something different. I hope you have recharged your batteries. Okay, so that we can have full battery for this class. I know it's a little bit late. But it's the schedule we all have chosen, right? Okay, great. Okay, anybody else wants to share anything about your weekend or about today? You can put your hands up <laughs> and say something. At least good evening, okay? Ileana, good evening. Just gonna be a listener. All right, Ileana. Somebody else? Somebody wants to say good evening. Oh, Daniel, you are here now. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Fine, how are you? All right, I'm doing great as well, thank God. Everything okay around here? Okay, Elsie, good evening. Present teacher. How good are evening. you? Thank you. All right, nice to see you again. Yes, all right. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. Let's have the attendance. I hope everybody has been able to connect already. Well, the ones connecting, right? Okay, let's have the attendance. Yes, just a second. Let me get the correct list. My name. My name is the last on the list right here. And I'm going to search. Okay, for the date today is the 12th, right? The 12th of September. Yes. Correct. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yesterday was the 11th, the 9 11. So many historical events on that day. Many. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead with the attendance. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present, teacher. Christina. Present, teacher. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. All right, Ferman. Yes. No, yet. Okay. Hazel. Present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. All right, Irma. <coughs> Irma? Not here. Okay, thank you. Erben? Present teacher. Hi. Isabel? Lucy? Present teacher. Marta? Mayra? Present. Yes. All right. Sí, Samuel. Present. Wendy. Not Wendy here. And Jacqueline. Present. Hi. Hi. Okay, ready. Let's get started. I remember last class. 
or for the ones that joined last class. We talk about the characteristics of a good manager, right? So we were describing the qualities that you consider are important in a good manager. They say, they suggested this article that says five requirements for the perfect manager. Of course, you read, you studied, you practiced about this um, article and see what is necessary to be a good manager, right? So you say that, that the manager should be a people person so that the person feels comfortable dealing with people, managing people, right? So motivating the teams, right? Understanding the problems, okay? That has a good relationship with the team. So be a good communicator, be technically proficient, encourage the team. So it's important to lead with the example, right? And yeah, that would be like the other one, right? So these were some of the characteristics. And you were in charge of working on this uh, statements, true or false. All right. So this sentence says, it is important to manage systems. It is more important to manage systems than people. And number two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. The other one says, in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Number four, encouraging teamwork. It is as important as being part of the team. Number five, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. So these were some of the sentences based on this article, right? We read, we practiced this article, we talk about the meaning of each of the requirements. We describe, we gave examples, but it's also good if you wanna refresh your memory, try to read again. And before, you complete the sentences you can read. Imagine that in the group we have two or three people, okay? So one person reads the paragraph number one, the other person reads the paragraph number two, and the other person reads the paragraph number three, and then the person that reads the number one it starts with the number four and so on and so forth, right? If you are two people you can be reading one each, okay? The first person reads number one, the other one reads number two, and then, and so on and so on, right? So, and then when you have refreshed your memory about the requirements, you can talk about the sentences if they are true or false. Is that clear? Yes. All right, this is just to start warming up, okay? Let's see. Is there any question? No? No questions? Sure. Okay, cool.
asking for managers who like people. You should be com comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you're not a good fit for our manager, managerly, uh, sorry, managerly thing. Okay, excellent. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is in a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your, your employees or they are the team's performance. You will communicate uh, any feedback from upper management and the customers and provide status information when asking. Okay. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Northfoot, Northfoot are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no having watched Happy Feet or, mm -hmm. or the March of the Penguins does not quality you as a technically proficient in Linux. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important. Teamwork is important. Well, está bien. Uh, be a people person. Nordox is people and we are looking for manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer that pe than people and understand Klingon, 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 better than English, you are not a good fit. And you are not a good fit for our manager managerial team. Next. <laughs> Next. Okay. Next. Be, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using our method, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, telecom. Verías dar como una guía y decidir la mejor estrategia y métodos para los sucesos. Entonces, mm -hmm. no es solo una opinión, tienen que ver varias. Mm -hmm. Dejémoslo en el segundo. Es en plural. Bueno, veamos la cuatro entonces. Esto es como fomentar algo así, creo yo. Es importante eh, iniciar un par de como como un tema como ser tema. parte iniciar begin uh -huh. begin esa creo que es true uh -huh. podría ser <coughs> Que sea as, posible, que sea as many tools as possible. Use as y, many. Y aquí nos dice eh, en el párrafo 2 creería que está la respuesta. Porque allí dice que hay que ser un buen comunicador, debe ser un buen comunicador. Debe ser capaz de comunicarse de manera efectiva utilizando todos los métodos. Incluyendo. 
presentaciones visuales, hablar en público. Entonces uh -huh. yo creo que eso sí es verdadero. Ok. A mi ver, no sé qué dice usted. Esto. I think la última. If you are manager, I, I you Yo esperé que puede saltarse el trabajo extra y tener fines de semana libres. Why en, teoría, en teoría, sí es. No. ¿Cómo no? A todos. En la teoría, pero, pero en teoría sí es, pero es falso. Es falso. Es falso. Va, entonces recapitulando. Primero, ustedes piensan que es falso. Uno, number one, number two. Number one is false. For me. Two, true. And then three, two, four, three, four, true. Three, false, four, five, false, four, four, true. No, three, false, four, true. True, four. Sí. If I four. Sí. False. Y después hay que hacer otra cosa. False. ¿Cuál era la otra? Solamente estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Solo las cinco preguntas. Are there are there statements? Lo puse verde. True, es true. La true. tres in order. Proficient. Giving on opi opinion is an out. No entiendo. ¿Sí? Ok. Proficient. One opinion is an out. No, no entiendo. Entienden ustedes. Es que dice que en orden a ser técnicamente competente, Ajá. Eh, dar una opinión es suficiente. Algo así. Ahí como en orden to be Giving one's opinion. Eh, yo digo que es verdadera. True. Algo hasta, Ajá, yo también me inclino que es true. Dar su opinión es suficiente. Para mí que es false. Ah, puede ser que sea false porque no, no. solo tra se trata de opinar. Ah, sino que también de actuar, entendería yo. Uh -huh. Un porque poco de dar que... el ejemplo. Ajá, en cabal. La número... En la número 3 dice... But you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods. Dice que dar como la guía y las mejores estrategias y métodos para el éxito. O sea, no solo basta con la opinión. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería false. Para mí que false. Vemoslo false, a ver cómo nos sale. Sí, porque aquí sí. dice que con dar la, la opinión es suficiente. Así dice. ¿En cuál? ¿En cuál tú? En la tres. En la tres que estamos viendo. La pregunta dice que si, si dar la opinión es suficiente. Sería falsa entonces. Uh -huh. False. Furish. Number four. In core, core teamwork. It's important. Courage. As being part of the team. Es importante at no sir. No sé qué es en quarantine. Es como alentar. Alentar. Alentar al equipo, darle ánimo. Entonces es algo así como que alentar al grupo de trabajo es importante para comenzar una parte del equipo, para ser parte del equipo, comenzar a ser en parte del equipo. La palabra en, en para mí que es verdadero. 
Sí, el correction teamwork. Ajá, para mí también es verdadero. True. Sí, es verdadero. Encoraging. Sí. Encoraging, dijiste que era. Uh, alentar. Ah. Mira, yo, yo la busqué así de solo en. Eh, eh, le parece que parece como encourage. encourage. El traductor, encourage. Ajá, encourage. encourage. Entonces, encouraging es como un, un verbo. Alentando al equipo, ajá. Sí, como alentando. Verbo. Alentando el, ajá, el equipo de trabajo, teamwork. Es, 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 es importante va. como Está ser parte del equipo. O sea, alentarlo es importante, como también es importante ser parte del equipo. Okay. Eso, sí. We finished, teacher. All right, thank you. All right, everybody come back. We're still waiting for some people to return. All right. Let's see. Urban, please read number one, be a people person. <clears throat> okay. Be a people person. Nurse is people in we are looking for manager who, who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work in a normal how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people understand Klingo better than English, you are not a good for our manager team. Thank you. All right, definitely. Being a people person, it's somebody who feels comfortable with other people, right? Great. Adriana, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate efficiently using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, emails, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees and their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback for upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. Good. Excellent. All right, here we go with Carlos. Be technically proficient. Okay. <clears throat> Be technically proficient. The products we create at North so are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for sources, success. And no having watched happy feet or the march of the penguins does not qualify. You are technically proficient, proficient in Linux. All right, thank you. Encourage teamwork. 
we're gonna listen to Christina. Teamwork is important at Norso. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Noxor for you for you to hide be, be, begin behind behind. In fact, we have no tradition traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Okay, thank you. You are required to sit and work with your staff. That's great. Daniel, lead by the example. Okay. The best manager will be accepted and not so. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all time and to be available to give me to give me wise guidance, guidance, guidance and help when needed. Lady be example means working late and weekends with your employer, part with your employer and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing, doing it in terms of pontificating and doing the right thing. And doing the right thing. All right, perfect. We just refresh the requirements for being a good manager. So I bet you all agree with this. This is so cool. <laughs> if that was the real world, right? So true or false, according to the article, of course, right? It is more important to manage system than people? Oh. False. Exactly, completely false, false. right? because it is more important to manage people than equipment. So we're going to be writing the letter here. Hold on. This should be false, right? OK, it is, sorry, number two. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. True. True or false? True. True. Different True. tools, right? Emails, public speaking, good with other people. So true. This should be true. Okay. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. False. That makes it false. False. False, right? You need to know about the, the programs, okay? Not just to give an opinion. Okay, encouraging teamwork, it is, an import, it is as important as being part of the team. True. That's true. true. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not only saying go, 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 do it, do it, but you will get together and do it, right? Okay. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. Well, right, you have to lead by the example. If everybody is busy, you are busy too. Of course, in case you are the manager. All right, so that was according to the article. Great. Any question? No? Are you sure? No questions. All right. <laughs> All right. So this was this part. I don't know if you completed this part in your in your pamphlet, in your PDF, in your photocopy. Oh my god. All right. It says write a seven line paragraph about your work experience. We described this last week, and that was great. 
your personal information similar to the CV, your curriculum, right? Status, experience, another job. And you can use the time expression. So first I started working at this company. I worked there for two or three years. Then I moved to another company. I got this opportunity to do this and that and that and that. I think we already share about these experiences, right? We talk, yes? We did a lot. Do you remember anybody experiences? Somebody that you remember? From the class? I remember the experience of Carlos. Uh-huh, Carlos experience. What did he say? 21 years working in the at the sal. In the same uh, company. He's been working yeah. there for 21 years. That's impressive. Four years in a plant and 17 years in a, like a supervisor and chief moving okay. and, and uh, after these four years, he, he can't sleep in, her, in his house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at the beginning he was not able to. Yeah, yeah like, a, like, a, like a Daniel too. Good memory. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it like is. A... That's a fact. If you want to speak another language, you should have a good memory. Like <laughs> Daniel too in uh -huh. San Miguel. Oh yes, Daniel. Daniel is. He worked. He worked eleven days uh, in one way, and then he can rest three days, and then return to to San Miguel oh. to bypass. Yes, he's constructing the bypasses. I mean, and he says that he still has like two more years to stay there. Imagine. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. Somebody yes. else? Any other partner with good memory? Por gusto les contaron, ya ven, they didn't pay attention. <laughs> they didn't listen. <laughs> they were, yeah, yeah, sure, wonderful, awesome. But now they don't remember. Que la IBC ha hecho pipi por aquí. Cristina work in Atlantida Bank. Ah, yes, that's true. Uh -huh. Who else? Um, yes, my work experience is in the bank. <laughs> Mostly in the bank, only in banks. Yes, um, business, business, um, capacitaciones, training, training for for a teams of business. Mm -hmm. Um. Eh, y en recursos humanos también. Human resources. Human resources. But at the bank too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. So this was practically like the summary of the first unit, unit one, right? That we were talking about job listings. So important details about job. Ya consiguieron la unit two. Yeah. No, yes. <laughs> only oh, responsible yes, people. <laughs> Pero sí, ahí están las cuatro oh. unidades, ¿verdad? Espero que sí. Excellent. Hasta colors printaron ahí. ¿eh? Money. Nice. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get started. Let me find it first. All right, here it is. So we start the second unit, unit two. So practically, these are some basic information about the course and the objective for this class. So definitely at the end of the session, participants will be able to tell partners what a regular day is like in their workplace using simple present. So practically, you have been working about your experience, expressions, I mean, time expressions, and blah, 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 blah. You've been talking about your qualifications. You've been talking about different things regarding your job. Now, you have to describe a typical day. What a typical, a regular day in your workplace is. ¿Cómo es un día? Típico, un día regular en su trabajo. 
en su lugar de trabajo. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, the vocabulary, definitely. Get in pairs and tell your partner what is a regular day in your workplace using a simple present to tell the activities. So, how can you and your colleagues, I mean, what you do in your colleagues, what activities you and your colleagues do. All right. So, this is basically what we're going to do. Hello, Catherine. What do you do every day? And she says, <laughs> okay. So how will you describe your regular day at work? And then she says, oh, some of my activities or some of my duties at work are the following. I work with this, I program this, I schedule, I organize, I present, I contact, I call, I, I don't know, whatever you do at your workplace. I, if I have to describe, uh, normal ordinary day at my work i would say mm, i usually get to work at eight so by 8 a.m in the morning i have to be there at the office i usually get my computer on get uh to see what the activities for the day are because i'm a teacher you know it's a different activities but in your case you usually say uh different activities depending on the job that you do not everybody does the same thing right but this is what we're going to describe okay what your typical day at work is like so here we have you know some vocabulary clean take orders change the menu marketing strategies promotion of item so clean the synonym is neat right okay take orders note down b okay marketing strategies goal achieving a sustainable competitive business all right promotion of item could be uh for this using marketing and sales and change the menu, redesign the meals. All right, this is something related to the to the lesson that we're gonna study. So here we have the conversation that the manual presents, right? It, that's what I say. Depending of the job, okay, no todos hacemos las mismas actividades porque no todos tenemos los mismos trabajos, obviously, right? So this is a uh, an example, okay? of some activities that somebody at a certain job can do. And the conversation is between Will and Orson. One second, it says, this kitchen looks great. It does, who is in charge of cleaning it? Remember clean? Okay, Jessica is, she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job, indeed. But doesn't Jessica take quarter during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who, that, and who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, because of the context and because of the vocabulary related in this conversation what activities can you identify from the conversation mm -hmm. what are the activities that they are describing that the personal that the staff do wait for it. Uh, could be it's a waitress. Could be exactly that they are referring to a waiter and a waitress, right? So definitely these two guys who are participating in the conversation don't do mm -hmm. the same job, right? They are talking about other people, about Jessica, about George, and about George's brother. So probably they are just 
the supervisors or the managers who are participating in the conversation, but they are describing different activities that probably a waiter or a waitress does, right? At a restaurant, most likely. Once again, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of the cleaning? Oh, who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 to 2 p.m. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, so definitely they are just talking about other people's work, right? So which are the activities that they are describing that these other people do? For example, the first one is... Mm -hmm. What is the first activity that they describe? Cleans the kitchen. Exactly, clean the kitchen. All right, any other or any other activity? Take the orders. Take orders, exactly. Uh -huh. So definitely has to be a waiter or a waitress. And the waiter and the waitress is also in charge of cleaning, cleaning the kitchen, right? Okay, oh, probably it's somebody who's not just a waiter or a waitress, somebody who's also a chef assistant, right? And the person also takes order, not only cleans the kitchen, right? Okay, so this is what we're going to practice right now. This is what we're going to work on. So make sure that uh, definitely you practice with your partner, practice not only one time two times until you get it until it is quite enough all right is there any expression new expression that you want to put a price anything new or everything is easy what's the meaning of indeed indeed actually the expression indeed is really In reality, mm -hmm. certainly, that's right. There can be other expressions similar to indeed. Yes, any other? That's it. Chief. Which one? What does it mean, shift? The shift. The morning shift. El turno de la mañana. It would be the morning shift, the afternoon shift, the night shift. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other? No more. All right, perfect. The morning shift. Oh, let's see. Okay. Hey, lo perdí. Bien, teacher. 
Yes. Uh, uh, only review the uh, dialogue. Dialogue. Just practice. Okay. Yes, the conversation. Uh, we can can uh, we can answer the question. Three questions. Yes. If you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, este, Lucy, está ahí. Ya lo vi. This, this is the paragraph uh, the only practice is but only practice, only practice. Yes. But, okay. Well, I, 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 I started. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning? Jessica is, she cleaned the kitchen from, from Monday to Wednesday. Wednesday. She does a really good job. I need, but doesn't Jessica tell you orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Her head does. It takes orders from 10. I am to to the end. I get it. And who does after him? Doesn't him brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Or uh, you? I start. Yeah. This kitchen looks great. It does. What is charge of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleaned the chicken, the kitchen, from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Either, but does not Jessica take order? during the morning shift. No, she doesn't. Jorge does, he takes order from 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Um, to 2 p.m. I get it. And uh, who does after him, does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. I started. The kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in share the cleaning? Jessica is. She cleaned the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good. Gardens are in the morning. No, she doesn't. Jorge does the take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And, and who does after him? Does his brother take the doesn't, It doesn't who is chair of cleaning it. Jessica is. She clean. She clean the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Uh, she doesn't really a go up to two p.m. I'm get it. And uh, who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Perfecto. 
Any doubt uh, about pronunciation of any any word? Jessica is, she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In the, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't, Jorge does. He take orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. After him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> ah, yes, he does. Sorry. Uh -huh. No, nah, that's okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Number one. La, la, the question. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looks great. He doesn't. Who is charging of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleaned the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Inter. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He take orders from 10. I am at uh, 2 p.m. I got it. Uh, who does who does after him? Does him brothers take the others after him? Yes, he does. Okay. You start. Yes. Me, or you, yes. me, you, 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 you. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is charging of the cleaning? Jessica, he is. She cleaned the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. I, indeed, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Yours does. He take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I got it. And with does after him? Does he brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. I start. This kitchen yes. looks great. He does. Was his target of cleaning? Yes, it is. She cleaned the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Ahead, no, fíjate, no traduce así. To, to ahead. Porque from, ah, vamos a poner preposition. From, ajá, from to, to. Y entonces le damos otra ley. Eh, si gusta, repasemos la de nuevo. ¿eh? Ya. Usted ya, ya hizo la, la ronda de empezar. Hola. Sí, sí ya, ya empezó. No, she doesn't. 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 She ¿Cómo se dice, perdón? No, she doesn't. 
What he does? Do he take order from 10 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. When? No, she doesn't. Jorge doesn't. Uh, he take orders. George. Orders from. George doesn't. He take orders from. Uh, yes, sería for yeah. nombre. Ten, ten, a. Ten, a. I am to. 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? I get him. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? He, I hear it. Uh, who does them? After he doesn't, his brother uh, take, 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 uh, take orders after he. No le pongo like this. Se le diga, brother, take the order. Brother, take the order. Say, uh, take the order. Okay, after him. So they take the order. En las dos vamos a ver, voy a alguien que sea Willy y otra persona. La última que es Yes, he do. Que se quiten a look al read. Dos, who is change of clean, cleaning it. Jessica, is she clean? Take kitchen from today to west today. West day. Uh, she does when really to Joe. In day about dozen Jessica. I take orders. De esa palabra se me ha olvidado during. During. During I take morning fish. She doesn't, no, she doesn't, George doesn't, he take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it a uh, who doesn't after he doesn't is brother. Thank you, thank a uh, take order after he Yes, he does. I take no. Take no. Take. Take. I take order. Okay. Hoy si gusta este. Ustedes dos. Con usted. Will, vaya. A Wendy que le cuesta más. Wendy que sea Will. Sí. Can you say kitchen a look read? We finished, teacher. Thank you. Ajá, uh -huh. how did it go? ¿Qué tal les fue? <laughs> From one to three, three, two, two and a half, two and a half, two point five. <laughs> 2.9. All right. Is there any question? No questions? 
Mm, yes. A little confused in number three. Why? Ah, yes. It's because the question is when does George brothers pay orders? Mm -hmm. So and that that question was a bit confusing. Is is as a, I clear the answer, but is I don't know. It's good the answer. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little bit but, difficult to interpret the question to start with, right? Okay. Uh, but I idea I have. I have the idea. Have mm -hmm. Nice. All right. We're gonna see, don't worry. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, let's see. Here we go. This is the conversation. And we have the groups. I saw the groups. Let's see. Hmm. Adriana, who was your partner? Elsie and Isabel. Elsie and Isabel. All right. So I'm going to listen to Elsie and Isabel. Thank you, Adriana. Okay. <laughs> okay. Elsie, are you ready? Okay. Isabel, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. One, two, three, go. This kitchen looks great. Does who is in charge of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In the but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Nice. Ooh, awesome. Next, let's see who's next. Christina, who was your partner? It's Hazel. Hazel. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. Go. Action. <laughs> Who is that? Hi. <laughs> All right. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In the but doesn't Jessica takes orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he do. It. Nice. Ooh, awesome. Yes, he does. All right, let's see. Hector, who was your partner? Carlos and Lucy. Carlos and Lucy, so, all right, let's listen to Carlos and Lucy. Then. <laughs> <Okay>. Democracy. <laughs> okay. Action. Go ahead, Hector. No, Lucy, Lucy is going to help you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In the, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Shift. No, she doesn't. George does. He, uh, he, he takes, takes or she takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Good job. All right, who's next? Let's see. Irma, who was your partner? Uh, my partner is uh, Wendy. Se me fue el nombre compañera. Wendy, Wendy was your partner. So let's listen to Irma and Wendy. It's okay, don't worry. Okay. Fake kitchen a look for it. It does. Who is charge of cleaning it? Yes, it is Shay clean take kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Where do they? She does a really good job. I need to do send Jessica a day or order uh, during a day morning switch. No, she doesn't. George doesn't. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It get it a who doesn't first thing doesn't is brought I take the orders after in. Yes, he does. All right. Okay, this word is great. This kitchen looks great. Yes, it does. Kitchen Who is in charge of cleaning it? Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job, indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. All right. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Martha, who was your partner? Uh, Jacqueline and Samuel. Jacqueline and Samuel. So let's listen to Jacqueline and Mark. Okay. Ready? This is great. It does who shares of cleaning it. Jessica is in kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. No, she doesn't. Yours does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yes, he does. All right. There were some difficulties with the audio. It was very hard to listen. All right. Let's see, we are over the time of the attendance, so let's just make a pause for the attendance to get it straight ahead. 
Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. Fermán. Nahir Hazel. Present. Hector. Present. Ileana. Irma. Present. Teacher. Tuve problemas de conexión, teacher. Por eso. Don't worry. It's okay. Irvin. Present. Isabel. Lucy. Marta. Present. Kai. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. Wendy. Jack. I am here. Great. Yes, I see some of, some of you have yeah, some issues with the audio. But it's okay. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Sin hacer trampa. Quiero ver, muestran el, el pamphlet si ya lo tienen impreso. <laughs> show me, show me. <laughs> no va a estar mostrando otra cosa. Ajá, el cuaderno de su hijo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, exactly. The real man on back. Close it. De que esto es sin ver. Close it. Cerrado. Ok. Vale. Póngalo lejos de usted. Far away. Y on the chat van a escribir dos oraciones de lo que describen que hacen las personas en esta conversation. Sin ver el chat tampoco. Fíjense que en el chat de WhatsApp están las imágenes, así que sin ver. Dos oraciones usando la tercera persona del singular. Ejemplo, Marta plays soccer. Carlos fixes the computer. Esos son ejemplos. No estoy diciendo que eso es lo que dice en la conversation. Solo es para que se recuerden cómo usar la tercera persona del singular. ¿De qué personas hablaba? Hablaba de Jessica y de George, ¿verdad? Es una de cada uno. No le vayan a dar enter porque si no van a, van a copiar los demás. Whatever you remember. ¿Qué era lo que hacía Jessica y qué era lo que hacía George? Está súper easy. Ya lo repasaron varias veces. Y recuérdense de agregarle S al verbo porque es third person singular. Jessica, bla, 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 bla. George, bla, 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 bla. Ok. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh -huh. <coughs> All right. Tenemos varias versiones de los mismos hechos. <laughs> All right. Okay, ten. 10 comments, llevo nada más, 11. Eso significa que muchos no han escrito. There are 11 participants in this session, so I should have 11, I mean 18 actually, 18 participants. Mm -hmm. Eighteen participations. All right, 13. Okay, Ervin. Ervin is the last person that has posted the comment. 14. 14, 14, 14. Tiene que haber 17 al menos. Okay. 
creo que 18 es conmigo incluida, así que al menos 17. There are 14 on me. Ajá. 15. 16. All right. Ya vamos llegando al nombre. Ok, 17. Let's see. <laughs> ok. Jessica cleans the kitchen. Jessica cleans the kitchen. Jessica cleans the kitchen. George takes order. George takes orders. Jessica cleans the kitchen. George takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. George takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Jessica cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Ah, ya estamos más complete. Sentences, uh -huh. Jessica cleans the kitchen. George takes orders. George takes orders. Let's see, let's see. Jessica cleans the kitchen very well. Okay, George takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Jessica cleans the kitchen and takes orders. My God. <laughs> but don't attend as the others. Okay, Jessica takes the orders. The kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. George takes the order also orders at other times. George takes orders and Jessica cleans the kitchen. All right. In summary, yes, correct. Jessica cleans the kitchen from uh -huh. <laughs> from Monday to Wednesday okay and Jessica takes orders due to the morning two all right in the morning shift all right and George how about George George takes orders when? Mm -hmm. Okay, George takes orders in the morning shift, right? Uh -huh. From 11 to 2, it says, and, the, and after 2 p.m., who takes the order? After two, who takes the order? ¿Quién toma las orden después de la dos? Cuando George deja de tomar orden. Who takes the orders? Brother George. His brother does. So that means that George and his brother both work at the same place, right? So his brother does. All right. We are using do now you can use, you can use your manual again. So <laughs> it's okay. This was just for you to remember to make some memory gains, right? Regarding the conversation. Let's go ahead and open it up again. Some people were answering the questions about the conversation. It was great. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday? That's easy, peasy. Uh huh. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday? Jessica. Jessica does. Bye. Acá. Vamos a hacer énfasis. Jessica does. Ella lo hace. Vamos a agregar el auxiliar. Si yo digo Jessica, está bien, es correcto. But in English, it's always necessary to add the auxiliary. Okay? Who cleans okay, the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? Jessica does. What does George do? George takes order. Mm -hmm. He takes orders. Uh -huh. From, from 
10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Exactly. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right. Okay. When does George's brother take order? Mm -hmm. When it's not stay George. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> After George. When George finishes his chief. Cuando él ya terminó su turno. Then his brother takes order. So he takes orders after George finishes his shift to be. When the George ha terminado su shift, entonces el hermano viene a seguir con la pequeña de las orders. Yeah. You say that. Okay. Correct. Questions? Any question? No questions? No questions? No answers? No teacher. All right, perfect. I'll put it down. All right. Y acá tienen su explanation. Staff and schedule. De eso se trata esta lesson, recuérdenlo. Como de sus actividades diarias, de sus horarios de trabajo, como de sus rutinas en el trabajo, ¿ok? Y acá nos dan la explanation. How to use the, the simple present for schedule activities. Cómo usar el tiempo simple para aquellas cosas que se repiten. Aquellas cosas que hacemos a diario, aquellas cosas que ya en automático las hacemos. ¿verdad? Que ya sabemos que al llegar tengo que hacer esto, 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 esto. Y el siguiente día otra vez. También. And again, and again, and again. ¿Ok? So use the simple present for schedule activities. Marta serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans the table from 5 to 9 p.m. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Okay. Vamos a... Obviamente acá les dan oraciones usando la tercera persona singular, que son las que más nos dan como un poco de trabajo, de dificultad, porque cuando hablo de Matt, de Paul, de Andrea, de María, de José, de Diana, de Mayra, estoy hablando de él o de ella, y para esas personas al verbo se le agrega S, si lo estoy diciendo algo que usualmente hace esa persona, entonces, por eso se los presentan acá en third person singular, no significa que si yo digo I start work at 7 a.m., I complete the report at 9 a.m. No significa que si yo hablo de mí, de mi primera persona, voy a ponerle ese al verbo. La S que se le agrega al verbo solo es para he, she, it. ¿Ok? Para las otras personas no. No hay problema. ¿Ok? Vamos a utilizar estos verbos. Use these words from the box to write sentences about you and people at your workplace. Eh, acá tenemos work, open, arrive, close, go. Cualquier oración que se les ocurra con estos verbos. Obviamente, yo sugiero que usted haga una oración acerca de usted y una oración acerca de un colega o de un partner para que usted sepa. Por ejemplo, voy a hacer acá una oración con work. Yo podría decir perfectamente, I work from... 8 a.m. to, unfortunately, 5 p.m. Esa es una, 
una oración describiendo algo en primera persona, algo que yo hago. Pero aquí podría poner, uh, quiero ver el nombre, ok, Kevin. Kevin es un colega. Kevin works from, quiero ver, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Es que más responsable que yo. <laughs> He gets at 7. Es solo un ejemplo. It's just an example. Pero acá, si usted no quiere poner la hora, puede poner cualquier otra cosa. Puede decir, Kevin works very hard every day. Or, Kevin works at a different institution on the weekend. Or Kevin works for a university at night. ¿Ok? Podría yo cambiar perfectamente el complemento de la oración. El punto es que si usted se fija acá, yo digo I work. No pasa nada con el verbo work. Pero en el caso de Kevin, Kevin sí le tengo que agregar S en el verbo. El complemento obviamente eso puede ser opcional, cualquier cosa que usted quiera decir de Kevin. In my case, right? ¿Está claro esto? ¿Es this exercise clear? Yes. Yes, vale. Solo tienen cinco verbos. Esta la voy a borrar, solo era un ejemplo. Ustedes lo van a trabajar con su partner para que puedan compartir ideas y se puedan apoyar si hay necesidad. Así que déjenme, vamos a refrescar los, los breakout rooms. Voy a trabajar con alguien más. All right, here we go. aquí vamos y sería esto use the verbs from the box to write sentence about you and people in your workplace mm -hmm. the first is work the verb work work uh, for example what do you work what do you work uh -huh. I, I the work I realize is oh uh, I work in sales, man, or oh, what do you work? No, yo, yo pienso de que tenemos que hacer las, las oraciones como que fueran el, un horario de, de trabajo. Por ejemplo, ¿Cómo, de, ¿cómo eh, qué? Como un horario de trabajo. Yo había puesto. ¿Un horario? Ajá. Uh -huh. I work uh, from 7 to 4 p.m. My uh, partner okay. has to work at 8 and end at 5 p.m. Sería entonces at work at 10 p.m. 6 p.m. No, at work at 6 a.m. o 8 a.m. at 6 p.m. Algo así. Decía la teacher que pudiéramos hacer una para, para nosotros. O sea, con el pronombre I. Y lo otro, el otro con en tercera persona, lo entendí yo. Estaría ah. bien en Open. I open my work at 8. Sí. 
y he opened store. Open. La tienda. Ajá, the store. In the morning. Y hay que, hay que, es necesario agregarle la hora. No solo en el morning. Um, Por ejemplo, no sé. Las expresiones de tiempo. Uh -huh. Bueno, a, y, podemos ponerle. Eh, G7 AM. All right. Okay. He's still. Um, uh -huh. La o la hora la podemos cambiar, pero. Sí. Mm -hmm. A M. Bueno, aquí me voy a inventar un nombre. <ríe> Cualquiera. Sonia. Primera persona. Lucy. He works to 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Ah, esa es en la de Word, pero en la de Open. Ah, Open. Ajá. Ah, ese sí no, <ríe> no la había. No, la he hecho todavía. no. Eh, ok. Ajá. Pero voy a tomar, voy a tomar de ejemplo lo que usted haga. <ríe> <ríe> ok. Ajá, era lo que les estaba diciendo, de que podemos intercambiar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Vaya, yo allí he puesto en la de Open, I open the office um, at 8 a.m. Ah, ok. Teacher, we have a question. Go, goes or gone? Goes. G-O-E-S. Yes, goes. Thank you, Shin. All right. Daniel goes to San Miguel Yes Monday to to Monday Monday to Sunday mm -hmm. Daniel goes to San Miguel at five o'clock in the morning or five a.m. I go to Tachin at 6 p.m. I go to Tachin gym at 6 p.m. I, I say I walk. Tajin. I go to the... Arriba. I arrive the aeroplane in my bus 7 a.m. A.A.A.A.A.M. Arrive. Uh, okay, so Right, right. Llegar. It's alright. 
are right. Close. Close, for example. Say my work is closed at a um, six p.m. I'll see. We go. She, she going, she goes, uh, she goes to late at uh, the meeting. She goes? Oh, Ma Maria, she goes to late at the meeting. Maria llegó tarde a la reunión. She goes to late at meeting. She goes. She, she, she goes. She, she goes. goes late of the meeting. To I late see. of the meeting. See. No, say that's the meeting. Meeting? Uh huh. She goes meeting. She, meeting. she goes yeah. to late. She goes to late meeting. Uh, to no, it's at the at the meeting. At meeting, she goes to lay at meeting. Maria, she goes to lay at meeting. En tercera persona. Pero es que Maria, she, como que se dice dos veces. Maria goes. Sí, sí, y solo solo Maria. Sí, Maria, Maria, well. Maria goes to lay at meeting. Sí, correcto, sí. Vamos a ver si lo traes ley. Las repasamos. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, la... Finish. Yes. All right. All right, all right. Then I don't incorporate the demás, not yet. Let's see, let's see. All right. Okay. Veamos. From the participants. Ok, Mayra. Tell me the sentences that you created. Number four. Word. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them. Okay. Number one. I work all day. Uh, Maria works in the morning, on, only in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, open. 
I opened the store at, at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sonia opens the store at 8.16 8, a.m. Mm -hmm. All right. I arrive at 7 a.m. in my work. Mm -hmm. When I arrive at work at 7.16 a.m. Mm -hmm. Close. I close the store at 5 p.m. Sonia closed the store at 4 p.m. Go. I go to eat. She goes to eat. All right. I go to eat at 12 at night in the evening and she goes to eat, right? Okay. Let's see. Very good. Next would be, how about Hector? Yeah, teacher. Okay, you were working together or in a different group? Mm, no, a different group. All right, so just read your sentences. Uh, first one, two, four. All of them. All of them? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, work. I work from 7 p.m. to 4 p.m. My partner start to work at 8 and end at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. open. I open the store every day at 7. Paula opened the store early. Arrive. My flight arrive at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Close. The office close at uh, the office close all operation at seven a half and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I go to buy groceries every Sunday. My wife goes on Wednesday. All right, very good. All right. Is there any doubt or algo que todavía no quede claro con, con esto de formular relaciones en first person and third person singular? Sí. Yes. And a question. Tell me. In verb go, in, in third person. Third person. It goes. 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 Se escribe yes. con ES, se le agrega. Yes. Mm. Sí, son tres verbos que son completamente regulares que no solamente se les agrega ese, que son go, do, and have. Go se convierte en goes, do se convierte en does, y have que se convierte en has. Okay. Para tercera persona, afirmativo, sin singular, nada más. Los, los otros verbos generalmente es s y en algunos casos es, pero most of the time it's just s. Right? Okay. ¿Alguna otra doubt? ¿Algo que haya surgido en el momento? No more. Sure. Bye. Teacher. Yes, tell me. In the construction of the, the sentences, mm -hmm. it will, uh, will be, for example, uh, I go in my house in the morning, or I go in the morning in my house. Generalmente es el lugar y luego el tiempo. I go home in the morning. I go to my house in the morning. Ok. Algo que se tiene que mantener en mente es el objeto del verbo. Usted va a un lugar, no va a un tiempo. Entonces por eso tiene sentido eso de I go to my house. I go home in the morning. Yes. Como el objeto del verbo. ¿Qué es, lo que, ¿Qué es lo que sigue después de la acción ir? Ir a un lugar. No ir a un tiempo, ¿verdad? No es viajar en el tiempo, a menos que fuera viajar en el tiempo. Pero eso, o sea, eso es solo como explicar la oración que usted acaba de decir. Pero generalmente eso se mantiene en perspectiva. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, imagínese que se le ocurre decir, I cook a chicken in the evening. Ya, yeah. pues, cook qué? 
o sea, no puede cocinar la evening, tiene que cocinar chicken. Entonces, como el objeto del verbo. Esa es la lógica del inglés, que el verbo tiene un objeto. Es como, uh -huh. pero usted dice, pues sí, pero yo puedo decir en español que cocino en la noche pollo. Ajá, pero porque en español nosotros nos entendemos. Aunque no cocino en la, o sea, no cocino la noche, ¿verdad? Entonces, cocino el pollo en la noche. ¿Ya? Entonces, como la, esa es la perspectiva. Es como, es como más, como más estructurado y con más lógica. Nosotros porque nos interpretamos y decimos, ah, que yo me entiendo, pero en español. ¿Ya? Y a veces estamos como, como, quizás queriendo como poner esto que tenga también sentido en el inglés. Pero eso es, es lo que se, te, se tiene que mantener en perspectiva. ¿Cuál es el objeto del verbo? ¿Ya? Que sería en este caso primera, primero sería house y luego en la, en la mañana. Uh -huh. El tiempo, exacto. Porque la acción de ir es ir a un lugar, no ir al tiempo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. O si usted también quiere decir, por ejemplo, estudio inglés en las noches. Está, está, está. Usted, la, usted en español perfectamente puede decir en la noche estudio inglés. Y se entiende. Ajá. Ajá. Pero en inglés es así con lógica. I study English at night. <risa> y eso es como de rigor. Así de rigor. El sujeto, el verbo, el complemento. O sea, no es como que le puedo dar vuelta y upside down y, y, y sí se entiende. Sí, puede ser que sí se entiende. Es como at night. Coma, I study English, pero la coma no la vemos, ¿ver? entonces a menos que esté escrito. Uh -huh. es, más ri, es más riguroso. ¿eh? Exacto, sí, por eso dicen es que tiene cuadrados, que tiene estructurado, por eso la gente a veces tiene como esta aberración a la grammar. Pero no es que la gramática sea mala, lo que pasa es que no nos queremos a veces someter. Es como cuando nos ponían, aprendete las tablas, y para acá. Ah, y a la hora de hacer la multiplicación. Ahí andábamos corriendo tras la calculadora, entonces no, es eso. Es que es igual que cuando, por ejemplo, uno dice, voy a casa, pero el hay no lo puedo quitar en el inglés. <risa> es que si lo quita, ya significa otra cosa. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, ah. go home, es como que le está dando una instrucción a alguien, que te, le está, lo está mandando para la casa. <risa> en cambio, si usted quiere decir que usted, usted es el que va a su casa, entonces, I go home. Ah. Y el énfasis en el sujeto, ¿verdad? Y por eso es tan importante saber ser los sujetos. I, you, we, he, she, they. Y esa es justamente como una de las primeras lecciones. En este caso, digamos, si yo quiero poner que yo salgo de la casa en la mañana, I go out, puedo poner. Sí, puede ser. I go out from my I go house. Out in my house from, in the morning. From my house, de mi casa. I go out from, from my house in the morning. Uh -huh. ah, okay. O simplemente utilice el verbo leave. Leave es dejar un lugar. Salir no. de un lugar. I leave home Ay. at 7 a.m. in the morning. Or I leave my house at 6 or I leave my house in the morning. Or I leave work, por ejemplo. I quiero salir del trabajo. Oh, I leave from my work at 6, 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or I go to work. <laughs> que hay varias formas, pero si se fija siempre es el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. Eso ya es aprender a aprender. Good. <ríe> ¿Alguna otra duda? Any other question? No, wow. Va, solo déjenme mostrarle algo para que se queden picados para mañana. Tomorrow. Estamos. Acá lo que estamos. Va, eso es lo que hemos estado viendo. Donde usamos. La tercera persona, si se fijan. Pero al inicio de la clase, yo les presentaba que ustedes tenían que poder contar qué es lo que hacen. Cómo es un día, un día ordinario, un día como todos en su trabajo. Eso es como un ejemplo, obviamente. Sus actividades van a depender, entonces como les va a quedar como homework. Que hagan como un día típico en sus labores cotidianas. ¿Yes? Usted obviamente tienen diferentes occupations, tienen diferentes responsabilidades, ¿no? todos hacen lo mismo. 
Entonces aquí hay un example. Medical Secretary Duties and Responsibilities. A medical secretary generally performs the following activities. Se puede decir perfectamente. I work as, a, as an accountant and I perform the following activities. I handle calls, I take messages, I schedule staff meetings, which may include serving conferences, ordering food, I prepare the traffic invoices, reporting memos, I schedule patients' appointments or surgeries and send Reminders, I handle, no sé, cualquiera de las actividades que les toque hacer. Entonces, como tratar de organizar todas las, las responsabilidades que tienen en un día, ¿ok? En su trabajo. Y como ahora ya no nos queda chance de compartirlo, mañana a primera hora nos lo van a compartir. Como decir, este es un día normal en mi trabajo. I get to my work at 7 a.m. I have a meeting at 8. I usually... Uh, send this report, I answer emails, I supervise this and this and that, okay, whatever activities you have to do in a normal day at work. ¿Está claro? ¿Van a practicar? Yes. <laughs> You're going to practice para decirlo así con mucha confidence. All right. Veamos, nos vamos a la attendance, nuestra última attendance de la clase y le correspondería la sección de one on one a Hazel, all right? O oh, Elsie, Elsie ya no, no había participado, Elsie. Hello, Elsie. No, teacher. Ah, pues Elsie, perdón. Entonces, sí, porque Fermán la sustituyó, creo, el Friday. All right, Adriana. Present, Carlos. Present, teacher. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Present. All right. Hazel. Present. Hector. Present. Ileana. Irma. Present. 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 <laughs> Isabel. Lucy. Present. Marta. Mayra. Good teacher. Yes. Samuel, Wendy, I am and here. Jacqueline. Yes. Entonces nos Present. quedamos con Elsie nada más. Y los demás. Dismiss. Good night. 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 Good night, teacher. Bye. Teacher. Ay, dígame. No, sí. no puedo salirme que se me ha reunido la punta. ¿Me podrá sacar usted? Sí, yo la, yo la despacho. Favor. Don't worry. Bye. No, Bye. Es, que no, es que se me le ha puesto no, una parte blanca a la pantalla, entonces ah. solo veo la mitad de la pantalla. All right. Bye. Don't worry. Creo que Ileana igual porque está en... De listener, nada ¿no? más. Vaya, Elsie, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo has estado? Bien, 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 gracias, teacher. Aquí bueno. echándole ganas. Sí, sí, no, si quiere, un, requiere un esfuerzo. Un esfuerzo, la sí. verdad, porque después que ha estado sentado uno, bueno, ocho horas en el trabajo. Seguirme. Sí, sí muchísimo. Y estar bueno. frente a una, a una pantalla todo el día también. Y seguir. Quiero decir, no. Ajá. Sí, es ajá. Sí, pero, pero también hay que, vale la pena el esfuerzo. Sí, hay que esforzarse, ni modo. No pudo estar el, el viernes. Sí. No pude estar, lo cierto es que dije, me voy a quedar, un re... no me sentía muy bien de salud, mm. me voy a recostar un, un momento, dije yo, mientras empieza la clase y me dormí. Ah, no. No pues, me sentía bien. Sí, no. Ajá. No sí, no, igual bien. así no iba a estar como muy atenta también. Sí. Exacto. Ay. Y logró terminar Por la decir. plataforma. Sí, ya terminé la parte 1 y he empezado en la parte 2. Ok. Ajá. Ya, ya hice alguna. En la, en la uno, este, fíjese que me costó más que todo la, la en la sección uno. Ajá, la de ordenar. 
creo sí, que estaba, en... ajá, estaban un poco, ¿Sí? tenían un truco ahí. De sí. hecho, ajá, a mí me quedó la duda, porque yo la logré completar, la cuatro y las cinco, porque mi compañero la, las mandó, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ese truco, también... igual le voy a decir a la, a la persona que está a cargo de la plataforma para que lo corría, porque si no, nunca lo van a, lo van a deducir, si yo, porque yo se lo dije. Igual porque se quedó en la sesión que usted le corresponde, entonces le comparto, se lo leo. Porque... Ah, pues <risa> por eso, porque yo dije, yo le busqué y le busqué y nada, uh -huh. no, nunca no, me, tienen nunca ese me quedó truco, bien. Eso, ajá. Ajá, entonces, y, y, y ya cuando Fermán la, la, la puso, ¿verdad? Cabal, solo le di copiar y pegar. Ah, y ya me salió bien, y yo tanto quería luchar. Sí. Ajá. Sí. Pero ya, Pero, de, ajá. ya de los ejercicios de la sesión 2 ya no le han dado mayor dificultad. No, no. Ahorita ajá. voy bien. Okay. Sí, ahorita voy Perfecto. bien hasta donde, hasta donde he, he llegado. Está bien, no me ha dado mayor problema. Venga. Ay, que me alegra. Pero ahí se me, sí. si me sale una dificultad y se la comunico. Vaya, sí, por favor. De hecho, eh, quedamos con Fernán de que si los primeros minutos vamos a empezar a aclarar que esas las dudas de los ejercicios para que sí, nadie, no vayan a estar como en, como en esta, en esta primera unidad, ¿verdad? Que, que muchos no pasaban de ahí por el mismo ejercicio. Uh -huh. bueno, yo hice, hoy... lo que hice fue que avancé con las demás eh, este, y dejé esas pendientes porque si no sí, no, no iba a avanzar Ajá, sí. no, igual Ajá. hoy no lo hicimos porque pues es la primera lección de la unidad 2 ¿verdad? y no han avanzado mucho pero sí a, de, a partir de mañana lo vamos a empezar a hacer sí, uh -huh. bueno teacher porque a veces se encuentra uno con esas cositas así como usted dice los trucos en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ya no avanza. Ajá, y ya no avanza. Se desmotiven. Sí. Porque no hay, que no hay que hacer, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, sí, pero... ¿y algo más? ¿Algún otro tema que quiere que reforcemos? Eh, pues fíjense que ahorita siento que, que voy comprendiendo bastante la, la explicación temas. que usted nos está dando. Sí. Sí, de hecho, lo que estamos viendo ahorita, la pregunta que le hizo la compañera, es, yo tenía la pequeña duda también, ¿verdad? Mm. Ahí con el verbo de, de go. Ajá, sí. pero, pero ya lo había hecho yo así con, Goes. como usted lo explicó, ¿verdad? Ajá. Mm -hmm. Entonces, este, pero sí me había quedado como la duda. ¿Qué, ¿Por qué cambio para ajá. la tercera persona? Sí, ajá, generalmente por eso le ponen los ejercicios de una vez con tercera persona. No es que el verbo, no es que el tiempo presente solo se use con la tercera persona. Simplemente es como es el que mayor lío da, entonces por eso los ejercicios que se repiten más con esas personas para que recuerden como que ay sí, a la tercera persona cambia el verbo, ¿verdad? Sí, de hecho cuando estuvimos en el grupo ahí trabajando yo les decía a los compañeros, ¿verdad? Que, vaya, por ejemplo, yo en la de Go uh -huh. había puesto Carlos. Uh -huh. eh, quiero ver. Ajá, Carlos Goes de, de Vix. Ah, ajá, de entonces, Beach. pero. Uh -huh. Ajá, de Weekend. Que va el fin de semana. La, on the weekend, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, on the weekend. Ah. Yes, Carlos Goes. Me faltaba on, on the weekend. weekend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On the weekend. Ajá, ok. Vaya, entonces, pero ahí es donde yo les decía que, eh, que si ya iba otro verbo, como por ejemplo en la de work, en uh -huh. la de work, eh, cuando es a primera persona va normal, como usted lo decía, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero ya con la tercera persona se le agrega la S, pero si le ponemos eh, este Carlos work, um, él, él me decía from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. From Monday to eh, Friday. Ajá. Entonces ahí ya no, ya no, o sea, no se le modifica nada a lo demás, sino solamente al verbo principal. Exacto. En el, en el que cambia, sí. ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Completamente. Y ahí todo. Todo lo demás ajá, normal. Uh -huh. Todo lo demás va normal. Ajá. Sí. Solo es como sí, el yo, verbo justo, el verbo que está cerca del sujeto. 
-huh. Ajá, el que está cerca. Uh -huh. Ah, aquí era donde este va, por ejemplo, el de Arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. Ajá, Carlos Arrive. Um, a Monday. Ah, no. Carlos Arrive, his work at uh, 6 14 a.m. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí es donde yo le decía, porque me aparecía el otro verbo que de, de trabajo, que él va uh -huh. arriba a su trabajo, llega a su trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí el, el word ya no, ya no sufre ningún no, cambio. No, ese no, porque en, en todo caso, es, la acción es llegar. Ya todo lo demás ya no. Uh -huh. He arrives uh -huh. to work, ahí sí. El uh -huh. primer verbo, sí, ahí sí, donde sufre la modificación de la S en, todo, en este uh -huh. caso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, hasta ahorita yo, yo creo que sí, teacher, con lo que sí me cuesta es la pronunciación de algunas palabras. Hay que repasar <risa> en voz alta, frente al espejo, en el baño, antes de dormirse, <risa> cante, grabe videos, haga no, pero o sea, después lo, o sea, después lo borra, o sea, usted solo por, por, o sea, por el simple hecho de practicar. Y entre más de vocalice, pre... más fácil se le va a hacer. O sea, usted filme, se graba, ese igual, o sea, usted lo está haciendo para ver cómo se escucha usted y después se borra. Uh -huh. okay. puede, puede hacerlo leyendo una conversación, puede hacerlo le, leyendo un párrafo, puede hacerlo eh, diciendo algo, presentándose, haciendo oraciones, pero siempre, ajá, y cuando esté creando cualquier ejercicio, siempre vaya lo diciendo en voz alta para que se le vaya a quedar. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y como ir puliendo, okay. vea, que se la vaya escuchando más natural, cada vez más, así como progresivo. No es que al inicio ya sale bonito, no, no es así. <ríe> es como a todo en la vida, o sea, siempre hay que ir como escalando. Exacto. Sí, voy a tomar esa sugerencia, Rich. Okay, y pero... muchas gracias por, por, por hacer eh, la, de la enseñanza un bonito aprendizaje porque tan, tan ganas de... De seguir aprendiendo. Nos <ríe> quiero que aprendan. No, gracias a sí. ustedes por tener la paciencia, el coraje, la valentía, el esfuerzo. Yo sé que estas no son horas como de términos pedagógicos, pero aquí estamos. Así que ustedes son los guerreros de esta clase. Pero sin ustedes tampoco podríamos. Salen de los grupos. Créanme. <ríe> En los tiempos que de vacación, ¿verdad? Que de, de un módulo a otro, digo yo, me voy a proponer, aunque sea una hora diaria, y eso, ¿verdad? Con ganas. Y eso comentábamos con otros compañeros. Me duermo. Y, y de ahí nos dormimos porque no es lo mismo. Sí, sí, necesita como alguien que los vaya guiando. Exacto. Sí. Vaya, Así pues. que muchas gracias, Tiché. No, y ojalá usted. nos encontremos en otro módulo. Let's cross the fingers. Okay. Bye. Good night. Thank you so very much. Good night. Enjoy. Go to sleep. Thank you. Right. Bye. Bye. Hasta luego.